Ginger is for joint, where the potato is for tissue. The potato is very, very gentle. Potato can be used on sore eyes, conjunctivitis. So again, we're going to put our plastic down and put our square down and use potato. So potato is used for tissue inflammation. So swollen eyes, sore eyes, red eyes. It can be used for ingrown toenails. It can be used for a, a uh, splinter that you couldn't get out. So tissue inflammation, sprained ankle, very good on sprained ankle. So the lady that had the swollen knee because she did too many ginger poultices, I said to her, put a potato on. <laughs> potato is very cooling. So it's great for all tissue inflammation. The potato is also a drawer. So again, you, you spread that out. My girlfriend rang me one day when, this is years ago, when she had babies and so did I, and I could hear her little boy just crying and crying. I said, what's the matter with Louis? She said, I, I don't know what's happened, but his little penis is twice the size. He was 10 months old. What are you going to do? And if you go to hospital, what are they going to do? I said, quickly make up a potato poultice. Any tissue swelling the potato poultice. So she made up a poultice, maybe about that size. See, it's very cooling. And she laid it on the area. She put his nappy, you call it a diaper. And the little fella, within five minutes, it must have really soothed it, he fell asleep. You see that? That just soothes any tissue that's swollen. She said he slept for two hours. What does that tell you? He's not in pain anymore. She said when he woke up, he was happy. She quickly changed his nappy or diaper and everything was back to normal. Now, sometimes you don't know what it is. Just, if in doubt, just use that grated potato. So what would it have been? Well, her little, little boy was crawling around the floor of their hippie home. You don't know whether he got a little bit of dirt in there or whether there was a bite. You, sometimes you don't know and you're not going to play around with that area. So can you see with the ginger, you would never put the ginger on tender areas, but the potato is very soothing and cooling, um, you would do that. I'll tell you the most remarkable story I've had with the, with the potato. When I lived in the rainforest, there was a guy who lived on our property at the end of our, end of our paddock, you call it a field, in a caravan. He was a real hippie and he was sickling the grass. You know what a sickle is? with bare feet. So what's going to happen next? The sickle went into the back of his ankle. Now I heard about it but I didn't see him for a few days and one of the guys said, have you seen Chris? His foot's up like a red balloon and there's a red line going up his leg. And he's lying in bed smoking marijuana waiting for nature to heal. The body will heal if you give it the right conditions. And one of the problems with the marijuana, it was dulling the pain, but the pain was telling him to do something. So I said, we'll, we'll bring him up. So they brought him up, and the first thing I do, and Vanessa will show you this tomorrow night, I got two buckets of water, one hot, one ice cold, and I put his foot straight into the hot water. Now I had my... I had his foot in my hand and I was just watching his face. If it was too hot, I'd put a bit of cold in because that first one can be, you know, hard to take. Three minutes. See, after three minutes, the blood slows down. So then you put it into the ice cold and everything <laughs> moves up again, as Vanessa will explain to you. While it's in the cold, I put a little bit more hot water in the hot. And then I, so 30 seconds in the cold, after 30 seconds, things are slowing down. So you bring it back into the hot. So I did that three times, three hots and three colds. His pain had reduced by 50%. See, what, what that does is it brings fresh blood into the area, which drives old blood out, which gets the inflammation down somewhat. And then I made a very big grated potato poultice. You see, he had a wound that had healed on the outside and it had not healed on the inside. 
And tetanus happens in, a, in an area of a wound that hasn't healed from the inside and sealed on the outside and there's an element of horse organism. Well we had a horse in the paddock so he was a perfect environment for tetanus. So I put a big grated potato poultice on his foot and I said come back in two hours. He could limp now. So just that reaction tells me we're getting results. When he came back after two hours I took this off and the wound was oozing and the red line had gone down about four inches. Now if he was still in pain and the red line hadn't gone down, we would take him straight to hospital, you know, if in doubt. But we're an hour from hospital, so what we could, but we could see results. And he did not want to go to hospital. So um, if he didn't want to go to hospital and we could see he was dying, we'd take him. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> So I did hot and coals again, and I did another grated potato, and I said, come back again at six o'clock, another few hours. And every time he came back, that big the line was going down, 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 and the foot was going down, down, and the foot was still oozing. See, this draws. And when you took it out, you could see the area where it was drawing. And then he put the grated potato on, we put it on after another hot and cold all night. He came over in the morning, we did another hot and cold, and the red line was gone. And the foot was just about back to normal. Looked like a dried prune, but you don't care about that. You just want that to go down. He said, what will I do now? And I said, you might be right now. I said, see how it goes. But if it starts to hurt, if it starts to throb, and if that seals, we, we need to do all that again. So I basically left it with him then. But it, it uh, healed. You can imagine that could have been a very serious situation. So that was quite remarkable. Um, I've also seen this draw out splinters. You know, sometimes you get a splinter in a finger that's just too painful to get out. If you put the grated potato on, it'll keep that swelling down. It'll, it will not get pussy or what they call infected. And usually after a couple of days, you can just get a needle on the tip of it, press it, and it'll usually just come out. I've just seen that happen a few times. So the grated potato can be used in all areas of tissue inflammation. 